So manifesting and mushrooms and not the kind that you get at the store. Nobody ever told me this, but I want to share it with you. If feeling is the secret, then this is the answer. Hi, my name is Kara and this is my channel Manifesting Alchemy, where I talk about healing and consciously creating with your mind and becoming the best version of you. I like to share helpful information that I have acquired over the past seven years on my journey that has helped make positive improvements in my life. And something that if you resonates with your soul, you might just wanna give it a try. So today's video is a little bit different than the other videos that I've done because it goes along with my two passions, my two hobbies, my two obsessions, and that is manifesting, consciously creating with your mind, and psilocybin mushrooms and the healing benefits that they have. So I fell down deep in the rabbit hole a few years ago, starting with functional mushrooms, if you see my other videos that I posted, and then moved to the psilocybin mushrooms. Of course, I'm not advocating that anybody break the law by any means, but I do want to share the information that I received. And to let you know, there are places that you can go, whether it's in Jamaica or Mexico, and even the state where I currently live in, um, you can apply for a psilocybin license and help people with the therapy. There's amazing therapeutic benefits of psilocybin mushrooms. They can help with depression, anxiety, addictions, and can actually even help when you combine them with functional mushrooms. There's research now that they can help with Alzheimer's and helping repair your brain cells when you combine the lion's mane with the um, microdose of psilocybin mushrooms and a nice and vitamin D do that stack. So there's amazing research right now on psilocybin mushrooms. They're not just a recreational um, drug that has no purpose. There's amazing benefits. If you watch my other videos, you've seen even from day one, the first time I did a microdose, it positively improved my life. I saw amazing results. So I've been doing my own research, my own studies, but something that I've noticed in observation is how amazing it made me feel and how it helped me with my manifestations because it put me in a better mood. So part of the reason why it helps with the depression is because it helps with serotonin production and the dopamine. So when you're low in serotonin, of course you're gonna feel bad. And if you've heard other manifestation coaches here all the time, they say feeling is a secret. You need to feel like you're in love to attract love. But what if you can't feel love? What if you don't feel love because you don't remember what it's like to feel loved? And it's just a foreign feeling to you. So you're like, I'm trying to feel loved, I'm trying to feel good, and it just, you're not having that connection. That's where I feel like psilocybin can be an amazing catalyst to help you with that loving feeling. So of course, I've heard people have all different kinds of experiences from um, working through negative things in the past to um, working through saying it was like 100 years of therapy in one session from even from the microdose to the, of course, macrodose. And I'm still learning a lot about the psilocybin mushrooms from my own personal journey and what I have seen with the benefits of the psilocybin mushrooms with consciously creating is that it helps me stay in that state of thankfulness and love and staying in that feeling of a different perspective, honestly. From day one, it gave me a different perspective. And part of the reason that I went down this journey is my hobby, my obsession to use as much of my brain as possible. I have um, family members that have struggled with Alzheimer's. And when I initially saw the first study that was done with rats in a lab study that had Alzheimer's reversed with the stack of the niacin vitamin D and uh, lion's mane and psilocybin mushrooms, that's where it gave me hope because there are not a lot of things that can help people with helping improve their mind. But knowing it can also improve your mood and the way that you feel and the way that you feel towards other people is just, for me, it's, it's like opening a whole new door and giving me a different perspective on life. So it's something that I would love to share and that is why I've started the steps of acquiring my psilocybin uh, license so that I can give people psilocybin as a therapy. I'm also starting a retreat called Soma Shaman where I want to um, give people mushrooms and help them work through any trauma and uh, blockages, obstacles that they have and let them know that this is something that I feel can work for a lot of people, even people that are 
medication-resistant depression, they've seen studies where it will help um, with their depression symptoms for a, even a three-month three period of time, which is pretty significant for something that um, even a pharmaceutical drug can't help. So there's some amazing research behind this. Psilocybin mushrooms, and for me, this is just the tip of the iceberg. I love to research it, and I've gone even deep, deeper now with the neuroscience of the dopamine, serotonin, and why it works and how it makes you feel better. But with the manifesting, with consciously creating, of course, it's having this new feeling and having this reset. For me, it's like a reset button that you can start over. For me, I feel when I take it that I'm able to feel more love and compassion towards people, that I'm very thankful for everything that I have. even water that comes out of the faucet i take that for granted and i'm like i am so thankful i have water i'm so thankful i've had electricity it's a different perspective and a different appreciation that it's just the catalyst i feel like for life it gives me a different perspective and a broader perspective of what i want to accomplish it also has helped me with um, being a, a procrastinator in the past and delaying and not wanting to take action, I feel like I had a completely different spot in my life that I've never been at before where I'm accomplishing things that I never thought that I would. But I love how with manifesting, when you want to have that feeling of love and you forgot what it feels like and you don't have any serotonin, this can be that bridge. This can be that that feeling to help you move through so that you feel love, you feel compassion, you feel appreciation, you feel thankfulness, and it gives you a different perspective instead of saying, I don't have, when is it going to get here? I want this right now. I don't like that person. You change into a different perspective of saying, I'm thankful. I'm appreciative. Oh, that person must be going through a difficult time right now. They must need some extra love and support and compassion. So it's, for the parts that I was lacking with staying in the feeling state, this has been a completely amazing experience that has pushed me to a different level that I haven't experienced before. So I don't think I've ever seen a video on manifesting and um, consciously creating with your mind and psilocybin mushrooms, but I feel like there is something, something amazing about the combination and when you, you put your focus and intention towards that. I remember watching a video about Paul Stamets, one of my favorite mycologists, talking about his first mushroom experience where he was um, struggling with having a stutter in his life. And he had had it most of his life. And after he took his first dose of psilocybin mushrooms, he told himself when he was experiencing his mushroom trip that he wasn't going to stutter anymore, that that was his intention that he put and put forth into his, his life. And when he came out of his trip the next day, he was able to have conversations with people where he didn't have a stutter anymore. And he said he, he didn't have it for the rest of his life. And I've seen similar things happen in my life that way. I didn't have a stutter, but I've had other blockages that I were, was able to move through quickly and having this optimistic hope for my future and for other people's future. And just wanting to, honestly, I walk around saying, I want to spread the good news about mushrooms. Of course, they're not for everybody. If you have a um, schizophrenia, any kind of uh, mental disorder that is contradictory to, contradictory to taking mushrooms, they definitely want to check with your doctor. And there are places, too, where there are a lot of studies going on that you can um, enter a study to work with psilocybin mushrooms. So I'm not advocating that anybody break the law in any way, but... If it's something that you want to try, I'm just giving you options and perspectives of what I didn't see was even possible before. I was interested in the research of mushrooms, of psilocybin mushrooms, but I didn't know how big of an impact it would have, a positive impact it would have on my life. It completely has changed my life for the better, and it's something that I like to share with people as well. And I've even started a business about it because I want to, to spread that good news. So thank you for taking the time to watch this video. I wanna keep it shorter. I am so thankful to be here on YouTube and to have people um, writing me about their kind comments and sharing knowledge with mushrooms. I appreciate you so much. And my intention is that you have an amazing day. And really quick, I wanna mention that um, thank you to everybody that has liked and subscribed to my videos. It means the world to me. It helps my channel grow, but I'm 
mostly going to be talking about mushrooms on my second channel, The Soma Shaman. It throws off the algorithm, so I have to stay with the manifestation, the consciously creating with your mind on the manifesting alchemy. So thank you again, and my intention is you have an amazing day, and I'll see you in the next video.